kind of a PERS guy. I spend most of my time uh, working with PERS, and so for years, uh, we and our and our team would look at um, trying to get our hands around PERS. And, and one of the first things we would do is ask and answer the question: uh, Where is the virus active and circulating by phase of production? Is it in the gilt pool? I'd mentioned earlier how important that replacement gilt pool is. Is it in the gilt pool? Is it active and circulating there? If so, yes, no. What do we need to do about it? Is it in the breeding herd? Is it active and circulating in the breeding herd? Yes, no. We want to wean negative pigs. It's an important question to, to answer and then um, address uh, if, if the answer is yes. Is it active and circulating in the nursery finisher or wean to finish facility? Yes, no. Uh, but the same applies for, for mycoplasma or MHIO. So today, um, while I, we ask and answer those questions relative to PERS, we just put mycoplasma right in there, you know, and say, well, let's, let's address both of those by phase of production. And it's kind of what we call the infection chain. Um, you know, address uh, the pattern of circulation, exposure slash of infection of those two pathogens by phase of production, guilt pool, breeding herd, uh, status of the weaned pig, what's the, what's the uh, pattern of circulation, exposure and infection in the growing pig for both those pathogens. <clears throat> Once we understand that for, for PERDS and mycoplasma, again, then we can take some, uh, some really surgical, surgically precise uh, control methodologies uh, to control both those pathogens uh, essentially at the same time.